we are going to to explain uh, our uh, uh, difficulties and realization with uh, GS's graph and the reason why we have decided to try to uh, uh, construct a new editor. So the first problem is that searching for a new way to teach during the COVID locked lock in time, Ivan, who is a computer science engineer, and I, an economist, decided to transfer my operation research course on the net through HTML. Coming from LaTeX, PS Tricks and Ticks, we also realized that it was a good occasion to add to splendid and exact graphic drawings a dynamic aspect to illustrate our words and help students to understand that the courses by the capacity to replay the graphical demonstration discussed by the teacher, whether he is an economist, a sociologist, physicist, chemist, or whatever. We hope that even jurists could be interested by the dynamization of some of their plan. Previously, I used to distribute to students some PDF. Now, since my first use of HTML, it is how I try to work with students. You may know that this course is in line and incorporate exercise with access to solution. So I will show you. So this is my, my course, uh, which is uh, accessible directly on internet. I will uh, explain the first page la later, but all everybody can, can see that it's a Sudoku and it's normal because uh, Sudoku can, can be uh, solved by integer programming. So you see that uh, in the, the, the conception of the courses are uh, directly uh, done on, uh, on the screen uh, with uh, an introduction, you know, and this introduction uh, is uh, with uh, a lot of uh, um, drawing and, and uh, images and even we have used some uh, nice uh, capability of GS is graph to uh, display some uh, some type of uh, of um, uh, drawing and uh, all the uh, situ situation uh, in this course. So I, I I'm going to jump directly to to another chapter to to show you. Uh, mainly what uh, what is in the in the core of our application uh, for instance uh, i don't know uh, linear programming perhaps and uh, no sorry I, I will show you something else because uh, there no i'm sorry sorry so uh, for instance this is some exercise. So you see, we have some exercise. We have uh, the solution that is accessible in clicking here. And here you have some, some nice capability of uh, um, SageMath, which is to use cell, uh, cells to compute the result. And the reason we decide to use this is that I discovered during the COVID era that many students have no uh, compu uh, computing power. So I decide that only your, their, uh, they have only capaci capacity uh, uh, with a terminal. So the problem with uh, this approach is that the drawing done by um, Python, because SageMath is mainly uh, a wrapping of uh, all programs with Python. The, the problem is that when you want to dynam dynamize uh, some uh, example, you are, uh, it's nearly impossible because it's too uh, slow. So I decided uh, to search a language that helped me to do that. As a French, some colleagues tell me to go to GeoGebra. But rapidly, it comes to the evidence that it is, at least at that time, Im absolutely impossible to respect our specification. 
Those specifications are very simple. We must have an easy incorporation of the graphics into an HTML page. We must use LaTeX formula to keep in pace with the mathematics of the page. Easy construction of the statics part of the graphics. Not too hard access to its dynamization. And more than that, a community which give help and assistance. In passing, I must sincerely um, thanks Murray Bourne and you, uh, Alfred, for the kindness regarding my computer emptiness. The specification follow from the fact that understanding needs dynamization and visualization, at least to be able to reconstruct the reasoning of the teacher, which is often complex when one should take notes on the fly. Often students renounce to understand, to be sure that they have the good drawing. After a second research and the elimination of many languages like Lactes.js due to Dan Leach, a very nice idea of extending Paystrict to HTML, uh, but with no community at all, we finally set our sight on GSS graph because it seems to be the language that was able to satisfy the main part of our requir requirements. We also decide to focus on open source software, which eliminate Mathematica, Maple, and other paying software, since we do not want to add to the fin financial difficulties of many students. Finally, we decide to select SageMath for advanced computation and GSS graph for 2D drawings. We must warmly thank Alfred, it's the second time I say this, and the development team for the incredible box of tools that they made avail available to internet users. Now we are able, at least in what concerns 2D construction, to use our drawing in teaching and research in such a way that student or more general audiences can replace the graphic by their own. Before to go further, we will present a sample of our realization because uh, those uh, realization are, uh, I think I, I, I've never seen them, uh, at least in the examples that are uh, displayed in the GS6 graph site. For, for instance, this is the famous uh, night tour, you know, uh, very simple, but you, we can explain what it is. Of course, my course is a course of op operation research, so it's natural for economics. Naturally, it's not uh, uh, normally it's not uh, very useful to to do that. But in uh, operation research, we can have those type of uh, of simulation to explain um, what uh, how we can uh, try to solve. Uh, the many uh, uh, the many tours that can be computed uh, and to show at least one. Uh, this is one. Uh, during the development of economics, we also need to uh, explain what we call fixed point. The fixed point is to show that uh, there is an X that satisfy uh, an X in um, in a ball that satisfy X equal f f X. So we went to to display uh, a spanner spanner lemma. Uh, spanner lemma is a very nice trick because it's very simple to under understand, at least in two dimension, and we hope to be able uh, later to do it in three dimension. Because what is explained in the spanner lemma is that uh, there is at, if you color according to the the way that Spanner defined it, that is, you have an equilateral tr triangle with uh, the uh, vertex um, colored with three different colors. Then you can uh, define some points on the uh, edges, and these edges are randomly um, colored with two colors. And the two colors are evidently the colors of the two extreme points. So you, you have a side 
with red and uh, blue uh, red and blue uh, points another side with red and yellow point and another side with uh, red and the uh, green point perhaps it will be necessary to change the no it's it's good color then what we can show is that there is always at least one uh, full label triangle inside the big triangle we can show this very easily in in diminishing in diminishing the uh, number of sub sub triangle you say we have we have uh, shown that if you choose a side you can define a door as a, a segment which is, which has uh, at its, its extremes two colors here if you decide to enter in, into the house by the red and yellow uh, by the red and yellow uh, side you have only one uh, full color triangle which is uh, accessible but if you decide to enter by uh, the other uh, other side you can also show that there are uh, all the, um, the, the, the 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 triangle can be accessed it may be that some triangle could not be accessed from the uh, exterior but those tri those triangle may exist also so this is exactly um, uh, I want to say that um, a demonstration of uh, what we can show dynamically, uh, and uh, this I have explored at nearly all the, the the pages that spoke of spinal lemma in French and in English, and I have never seen such application. Now to show you another application. Uh, I will I will sh show you no the the one you show me the last one you show me the celui qu'on a qu'on avait préparé la dernière ta ta changé ah oui so uh, this is a pure economic problem you know it's the determination of uh, the offer of a producer so what what it is first you must to define a total cost function. This total cost function depends, of course, of a certain number of parameters. For instance, you can change the value of the uh, A parameter, of the B parameter. Of course, uh, I, I have, no, uh, you, you see E, B, C, D. You have all the, 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 the possibilities. So I'm not going to, to teach. But, so you see for students, what is very important is to know that the offer part of uh, of the manage marginal curve this curve in red is this this one so the advantage to use such an animation is that you can show that the dependency to the parameters and to display exactly what you mean and this is as I think very uh, great capa capability and this capability I've not been able to do it before I encounter GSS graph. Uh, to finish, uh, we can also simulate uh, this is a, a spatial game and uh, we can also simulate a spatial game. You know, uh, this is a, a prisoner dilemma. We have all the game, but this is a, a prisoner dilemma with a certain number of players, a certain number of uh, uh, um, turn, and of course you have the matrix which is there, which this which uh, explain the remuneration when you play with another uh, uh, with another uh, con contestant. The main uh, aspect of this is that the dilemma is played on a grid, and this grid can be either uh, a uh, like a chessboard or can also, also be conceived as a torus. Uh, this side be being linked to this one, this side be linked to this one in such a way that there is no border effect. Okay, now we can also, uh, what happened? 
you say, for instance, if you choose, if you if you are this player, the player which is on this case, uh, on this um, tile, sorry, uh, you can play with uh, uh, a structure which is a uh, uh, Neumann neighborhood. You can also play with a Moore neighborhood. The difference is that when you play with uh, von Neumann neighborhood, you play with your neighbor, which are uh, uh, posit posited in a cross, in a cross uh, banner. And when you play with, uh, um, with a Moore uh, neighborhood, you, you play with all the, uh, the, 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 the agents who are around you. You can also define a, a more profound uh, uh, neighbor, not only to the first degree, but to the second, third, like you want. And last thing is that you can also say that uh, every people uh, play in according to uh, the past. That is, they can accumulate information about uh, what they do in the past and uh, uh, going uh, uh, to, 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 to have a decision according to this. At the start, every people are cooperator. It's a, di a prisoner dilemma. So we start from every people cooperator. Uh, that is uh, the, strat the action AL0 and AC0. It's a symmetric game. So there is no problem with this. Suddenly there is a mutation and one people in, in, the, in the grid uh, change uh, his decision. And we want to see what will happen according to the different simulation that we can do. So here is a, a simulation. So you can see right now it's, uh, uh, it's in development. We have not completely finished uh, the, 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 the work. And uh, you, you can see that uh, we can have uh, two balls one with the simulation and the other with the information that we uh, gather from the, the simulation. And uh, we can do this. And this is a very nice trick because uh, we can uh, uh, display what, what, uh, uh, what we want. Of course, of course, in that type of simulation, we have a big problem of size. Because uh, because it uses a uh, uh, lot of uh, resources uh, on the, on the on the computer. So uh, now, where are our? Pro you, you see, uh, it takes time. But in every language, I've seen all the simulation, and it's always the same problem. Here you can see that is largely slower. But I think that it's a problem of dimension, and uh, I hope we can accelerate. But uh, I'm not quite sure. It's not the the more uh, uh, interesting problem we have with uh, our, our computation. Uh, so uh, I hope that uh, I have convinced uh, a lot of of uh, the assistant assistants that. Uh, uh, GSS graph is not only uh, a, a work only for mathematician, physician. It can be used also by other scientists. And but there is a big problem. You know, there is a big problem. The problem is that uh, it's very very hard to use. Uh, I'm not a computer scientist. I decided to uh, learn uh, languages at the age of 16. It's late, but I think it's a good way to learn because it's very nice for my brain. But at the same time, I have not the good reaction. But of course, I'm an old man. But I see that uh, my younger colleague will never use such nice tricks because not because they are lazy but they have also other things to do so 
is the reason why Ivan and I have decided to use a part of our uh, time to facilitate the uh, the programmation, okay? Because I know that many times I take my phone, I ask him to reinvent uh, some things that I, 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 uh, I must know, you know? So it's the reason why we decided to uh, construct a new editor, uh, which is right now a prototype and uh, with uh, many, uh, many problems, okay? <laughs> but uh, which is a little different of what we have seen, mainly uh, the editor you, you have decided to provide in, uh, in, Be in uh, Beirut and uh, uh, the other editor, which has been uh, computed by Chinese, and uh, we, uh, Zhang uh, Yongui, you know, we have accredited uh, all what we used, uh, all the idea and uh, inside the contribution, because we think that it's not only our work, but we work on, on, on uh, we elaborate on the work of others. So now, uh, the idea is that to try three things. First, to help people not only to use one board, but if they want to use many boards, you know. Uh, the, the first thing is, as you see uh, the, 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 the demonstration, we can use one board, two board, three or four board and display it in, in position, uh, diverse position, uh, according to what the, uh, the, the constructor want uh, for its presentation. Then we are going to explain the state of what, where we arrive uh, uh, with uh, uh, only two boards because it, it's sufficient to, to, explain, to explain this. So first you can select a board and uh, position some points, you know, like this. You see that on the right, you have not all characteristic of the uh, of the of the point because it it will be too large. But the main one. But you will see that you can have access to the other. It's not closed because you can also. And we will show you later. You can also use your uh, coding part to to add something that has, is not being um, uh, set up inside our editor. So this is the first thing. You can also put some points in the second uh, uh, board. Uh, perhaps have you seen that the mouse is obliged to go through the axe to have access to the editor. So this is a little drawback and perhaps uh, you will uh, correct this or give us another way to have access to the editor simply in clicking on it. But right now we are obliged to cross the axis to, po to position some point. Okay, so if I want, if uh, I want to put a triangle, for instance, I can, I can, uh, Design a triangle on uh, on this uh, on this part on one board of the other, but so you can see there is a lot. Even if all right now all has not been implemented, we want to have access to nearly nearly all the objects that are uh, disponible in GSX Graph. Our main problem is to try, so this is not the main uh, difficulties. The difficulty is always to define a movement who correspond to what you want to show. So I apologize, right now we have not a lot of, of move, but we are going to, to show you that directly inside the editor, we can define some movement and uh, according to what what we want to 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 realize, so this is very simple. 
and uh, Yvonne is going to to uh, to show you. For instance, we have the uh, we have selected the C and D point. We have we ask we are asking them to this to move this point to the point one two, then to the point ten ten. and they come back to the uh, first position. So right now it's uh, mainly what we are able to do, but this is uh, what we want to, to incorporate is uh, the maximum uh, type of movement to help to mix movement to have the easiest way to, uh, to uh, uh, to, uh, to 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 construct uh, the graph you want to construct. Of course, uh, this can be exported and an uh, HTML uh, normally. If, if uh, you can also so even show you that uh, we have you have access to all the code and in the, in the natural way, we we want also to be able to reuse an old uh, graph. That has been done. So here we are going to sh to show uh, sh uh, show uh, the uh, no turn 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 a Gantt uh, drawing, you know, you, you know what is a, a Gantt drawing. It's only to say that the first tax must come after the second tax and, and, and so on. I'm sorry because uh, it lack uh, um, the, the start uh, button, button. And and we, we want at term to be able to have this type of design and to rework it from inside our editor. So, of course, now I must tell you the truth. This is done on our free time. It's not exactly true, you know, how our researcher, but uh, it's done on our free time and uh, we are very slow in developing this editor. So what we are going to do in, is very quickly to let it in GitHub and hoping that uh, it will uh, uh, create a community who will, 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 will be interested in modifying, changing some things, adding some things to have the more, the, the a definite uh, editor for scientists. I, I forget. I, I forget to show you that we can also also draw. Last two minutes, uh, we can also draw some some uh, function. For instance, directly. So you see, it's completely. Uh, I think it's a very, very versatile uh, uh, editor. So. This is uh, uh, our uh, point. Thanks for to all for your presence, and thanks again to all the contributors that uh, that uh, have the amability to answer my question when I go to the networks. Thank you. <laughs>